sometimes it feels like Like this world's gone crazy Grandpa Take me back to yesterday When the light A couple weeks ago I talked about getting your attention and keeping your attention. I talked about how hard that was. Now, I can't believe I'm going to say this today, but just relax. Let your mind drift. Go get in that comfortable recliner and turn the TV on and just sit back and let your mind drift. Let it drift back to your hometown <clears throat> when you grew up. Let it be everywhere, anywhere, wherever you may have been brought up. Just go back to that place for a few minutes. If you look, if you look in your mind, you'll see a white framed store. It sits on Woodbine Road <clears throat> and route 19 goes beside it. If you go in there, you'll see an old man. He walks with a cane. He has black framed glasses. That's Kenneth Ritchie. It's Kenneth Ritchie's store. And I remember I would go in there. My friends would go in there. It's a wonderful place. We'd go in there and behind the counter, they had candy. It was singles candy. There were different boxes of different candy. I like the chocolate drops. You know, you could buy them for like two or three cents, or you could buy a whole bag of candy. You could get chocolate drops, uh, chocolate covered peanuts, those orange slices. Remember those orange slices? You could get a whole bag of that for a quarter. You could get anything you wanted in that store. You could get clothes, you could get shoes, you could get groceries, you could get farm supplies. You could get anything. And I remember as a child sitting there, you could go and you could loaf in there. Just go and sit down and, and, and talk to people. I remember sitting there and people would come in and they'd buy a whole bag of, of groceries and, and Kenneth would open this file. He would open this file. He, he would get a pencil, a pencil and a piece of paper and he would add up everything they had by hand. And then he'd reach the paper to them and they would sign it. They would sign it, put it up. And then usually they'd talk for 15 or 20 minutes. Huh. If you drive by that exact place this day and time, you're not going to see that store. It's gone. That happens everywhere. USA, it happens everywhere in the USA, and it happens anywhere in the USA. Don't wake up, let your mind drift. We're not done yet. You need some gas? Well, go on up to Bub Herds. I know it's Bub Herds, and everybody knows it's Bub Herds. There's not a sign, but it's a gas station. And oh, that ding that you heard, that's a hose across the pavement. When you run over it, it dings, and that signals Bub Heard that he's got a customer. He'll come out, and you'll see a fellow with a, a rag in his back pocket. And he'll come out, and he'll have a spray bottle. And you know what he'll do? He'll clean your windshield. He'll clean your windshield, and then he'll come around to the window and say, how much? And he will put your gas in your tank. Huh. If you drive by there this day and time, Bub Hurd's not there. Huh. That's everywhere. That's everywhere, USA. That's anywhere, USA. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Relax. Let your mind drift. Are you hungry? Of course you are. You're always hungry. You're always hungry. Well, stop right there. Drive in there. That's the dairy bar. Don't get out. Don't get out. They'll come and wait on you. You can sit in the car. And guess what? <laughs> the
The girls that come and wait on you are the prettiest girls in town. Get a, get a foot long hot dog or a pizza burger. That's my favorite, a pizza burger. You drive by that place today, hmm, it's not there. Huh. That's everywhere, USA. Or that's anywhere, USA. Those were wonderful places. Remember the wonderful places in your mind, in your childhood, that are not there anymore. Why are they not there? Why are they not there? It's because people did not support those places. If they had supported those places, they would still be here today, I think, maybe with a few changes, but they would still be here. They closed down because people quit coming and people quit supporting those places. Now, wake up. Let me have your attention. Let me have your attention. Jesus and his disciples were at the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus said, well, let's go to Caesarea Philippi. That is in northern Israel. And they start, and it's 30 miles away. And as they were walking and talking, Jesus looks at his disciples and he says, who do the people say that I am? And one of the disciples said, they think you are a prophet risen from the dead. And Jesus laughs. No, I don't know, but he may have. And then he looks at his disciples and he says, who do you say that I am? And Peter says, mm, you're the son of the living God. And Jesus says, you are Peter the rock. And upon this, I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And Jesus looks at his disciples and he says, okay, Peter, get a shovel. Get a shovel and dig a foundation. Get some help if you need some help, but start building, building uh, uh, digging a foundation. James and John, get some money from Judas. He's got the money. And go to Lowe's and buy, buy some wood, plywood and this and that, and cinder blocks and everything. And we'll build a church. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say that. It's up on the confession that Jesus is the Son of God that takes away the sin of the world. It's up on receiving that that the church is built. That's the church. You see, the church is in our hearts. It's in our hearts. Now, think back. Think back to your childhood. Think back to the church you attended. Is it still there? The building may not be there, but there's people that carries the church in their hearts. They're still around. There are still people that believe and trust in Jesus. They're still around. That building is not there because people stop coming to the church and they stop supporting the church. How about this church? If we drive by in five years or 10 years, will it still be here? How about other churches that are in your minds and in your thoughts and in your prayers? Five years from now, 10 years from now, will you drive by and you see that church? Maybe, maybe not. The church in our hearts will always be there, but structures and buildings may not if people don't support them. Amen. Between right and wrong, didn't seem so hazy Did lovers really fall in love to stay And stand beside each other Come what may Was a promise